Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Tell them I said hello where I show you my tips and tricks for painting and wallpaper. This is Spencer Colgan and thanks for coming back. So last week I posted a video on taping around cabinets, painting around cabinets and coming up with sharp and crisp lines. Well, one of my uh, viewers asked the question, Spencer, what if the caulk cracks? Okay, so we didn't have any of that over the weekend which I did not anticipate anyway. But what I did have is some of the paint came up. And so I want to introduce to you a product that uh, one of my viewers, separate from the last one I mentioned, commented on my video, hey Spencer, that product is very good, the tape that actually enlarges after it's wet and seals the paint away from the product you're masking so that it doesn't bleed underneath the tape. And that's this blue frog tape. And I'm going to show you right here and now whether I recommend this to you. And um, I think we're gonna have good results. Let's see. So the product boasts, keeps paint out, keeps lines sharp. Okay, and the idea is that it has what's called a paint block technology that has been perfected over the last few years. And it's just something uh, with which I've never worked because I just simply didn't want to spend the money. But today I did as a result of the last video and the last comment regarding this on the last video. Okay, so just so you know that I'm being true to my demonstration here, I left a white line, uh, about a sixteenth of an inch, so that you could see that I'm actually testing this product's ability to block out paint, okay? That was the problem that I had. And so I said, let's, let's test this out. Let's make these lines perfect. And if it fails, well, we'll just blame the fellow who made the comment. And as you can see, I'm wetting the product because I want the tech, the the chemical that activates the enlarging of the tape to be activated okay so this is a damp microfiber cloth and so i'm i'm telling the tape okay let's go block the paint from coming in i certainly don't want to be wetting it with the paint and expect that the tape is just going to do its job right away after it gets wet with paint. I think at that point, you're asking the tape to do too much. So I just wet it down. I'm going to let it enlarge and then I'm gonna take it right off after I paint. This would surely be the mass of the caulk and waiting for the caulk, etc. The technique that I showed you on the last painting video on my channel. All right, and like I promised, I said we would take this right off, okay? And without an interruption in the video, so you can see there's no tricks or deception, obviously. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. What do you think? What do you think? Okay. 
I'm sold. How about you? Once again, the product is, it's, it's another frog tape, okay? You know that they have green, yellow, and they have this blue. And so I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it, especially if you're a pro painter. You know, this will save you the time rather than achieving these results in the manner in which I achieved them on the last video, which I will just reproduce for you here in a moment. Just a couple of days ago, I produced this video uh, that was titled Painting Around Cabinets, in which I showed you this technique whereby I clogged the tape with clear caulk. Many of you can't get your hands on clear caulk, but it adds an extra step to achieve the results that I've achieved in this video with the blue tape. I now renounce this as a waste of time. I don't suggest that you do it like this unless you're in a bind. As painters, we like to move quickly and save time and make money. And so if you're a professional, spend the extra money on the blue tape to avoid doing what I'm doing here, which is to use clear caulk over tape and then paint. Okay, I highly suggest you don't do it like this anymore and that you use the technique prescribed in this video. Okay, look at all the time that it takes me to flatten out that caulk and then to get it painted. I will fast forward and show you the results that I achieved on the last video, which were very good, but that take double the amount of time or even more. Let me fast forward for you. Okay, this is the fast forwarded section of the last video in which I paint over this caulk. And you have to do it with a real careful hand, otherwise you'll disrupt the caulk and you will dilute the color of your paint, especially a dark paint. Don't use this technique anymore, okay? When I removed the tape last week on the last video, this was the result. Okay, it's a slow go, as you can see. And after you're done with this, you have to check, you have to look really close to see that the clear caulk has the same amount of pigment on it. So it's not just an easy run of it. Sometimes you have to go over the color again because the, usually I don't, but in a dark color, I have to give it a look over because, when it dries to make sure that when I pull my paint here that I'm not uh, changing the color simply because the wet caulk has diluted the pigment of the paint. So that's why I will no longer do it like this. Okay, once again, the product is frog tape, blue in color, and it has paint block technology. Please tell me what you think about this and tell me how you achieve this in your home projects or your professional painting projects if you're a pro. Thanks for watching. Please click on like and subscribe.